Morning, y'all. Friday morning about 10.30, so we're kicking off another ammo hunting week. As always, if you're new to the channel or just hadn't watched my ammo hunting videos before, I go from Friday to Thursday, not every single day, but that's my time frame that I do this ammo hunting in. And then on Thursdays, I make the video and wrap everything up and show y'all what I got throughout the week. Had a pretty good week last week, so hopefully this one will be as good or better. It's just going to be a one-stop shop today. I'm just going to swing into the Royal King, and then next week we'll hit a few more places. If you are new to the channel or you enjoy my videos, take a second while we're on the way. Reach down, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon. All that stuff really does help, so I greatly appreciate that. But let's run on in here and see what they got for us today. All right, y'all. They actually got a bunch of stuff in here this morning. Got the 20-gauge target, 8-shot there. Got some a bunch of different 223s in here. Varmint Express 65 grain V Max for 1997. Still got the 350 Legend. They got a bunch more of this Fetter Double Alt Bug, the 999 stuff. Great deal on that. A bunch more of the High Brass Number Eight Dove Load for 899. Got a big old pile of this Number Five Shot 12 gauge. I've never actually seen this Fetter Number Five Shot for 1099. Some more 223 62 grain FMJ down near here, the Hornady Black for 1297. Got some of those Aguilas again for 399. The Hollow Point Aguilas 499. Still got the Winchester Match 223 for 2797. Another bunch of this 300 Blackout 147 grain 1699. Still hanging on to the 38 Super 380 Ammo Ink 26 bucks on that. 308 white tail got some pmc bronze 45 for 33 bucks that's too much there got more of those uh, ammo ink 45 hollow points for 18.97 got some new 76239 here brass cased igman 762 by 39 123 fmj 33 bucks that's over 50 cent around now it's brass but still over 50 cent around is it's too much for me right much more 30 off six they got the core locks again for 24.99 they got the eldx precisions 178 grain for 27.98 bunch of the arms core nine millimeter that's 17.99 got some v crowns here different box elite defense v crown i think that's the same stuff though it's not plus p just 124 grain jacketed hollow point I I guess they just rebranded repackaged the package here looks like just basic v crown 124 grain tons of hornady critical defense 22.99 for nine millimeter some pmc bronze 40 for 23.99 hollow point 40s ammo inks 18.99 one lonely little box of them hollow point white boxes over there too 29.99 definitely quite a bit of new stuff in here today all right, y'all, made it out to Rural King. As y'all saw, they had a ton of stuff in there. Uh, a lot of restocks of some stuff they had throughout last week, and plus uh, several new things in there. Uh, some new 762, bunches of new different types of 223. Uh, that 22LR Aguila is really good at price in there right now. Uh, the Fetter Double All Buck again, and then that Fetter Number 5 shot. And anyway, definitely worth the trip up there today to check out what they had. So I'm going to head back to the house, and like I say, we'll come out next week and hit it again. Morning, y'all. It's Thursday morning about 10 30, so it's time to wrap up the ammo hunt again. Um, I've been out just one day this week, actually, this past Friday. I've been so busy, I hadn't had time to go out. I have picked up a couple things online this week, so I got some stuff to go over when we get back to the house. But we're gonna run up here to the Rural King first, and then we'll probably hit the Dunham's and the Walmart and my local shop today, just make the whole round. So let's run into the Rural King first and see what they got going today. Looks like they got a few different things in here than the last time. Got some X Tag, some 223 Vaughn. That's some stealth 230 grain ammo ink 45 36 bucks some more 350 legend Plenty more 38 special ammo ink Had some more of that in the sig 9 millimeter 115 grain 14.99 still on that sig got some 450 bushmaster 30 bucks at the federal number fives in here still 10.99 still got some uh, gila 22 for 3.99 4.99 for the hollow point version still got that igman 762 brass case in here 33 dollars for 60. still got a little bit of 20 gauge and 38 specials still got some 38 supers but 
Other than that, about the same as what was here last time. All right, y'all, made it out to Rural King cheap today. Uh, they had right much stuff in there, but nothing that I really needed or wanted in there. Other than that SIG 9mm FMJ, which I grabbed a couple boxes of, and somebody else grabbed the last couple boxes before I could even whip my camera out. But other than that, uh, like I say, a lot of stuff in there, but nothing I really needed or wanted. Next stop is the Dunham's. We'll run in there, and if they got anything new, I'll let y'all check it out. All right, I don't see really nothing different in here. Looks like about the same 45, 40, 38s, 9s. I'm not going to go slow unless there's something I see different. Looks like about the same everything in this case. Still got that 444 Marlin in here. All the rifle stuff looks the same. Tons of 308. Still got the 7mm mag. Bunch of 5.56223, just high prices on it as usual in here. But other than that, looks about the same 22 mags. I don't have any of those. I might get one or two of those maybe. Those are 30 grains. Actually, I have some of those and uh, that's the same as the B-Max rounds. Shoddy stuff looks about the same. 12, 20, some 16s. I don't think I see really anything new in here today at all. All right, y'all, same old song and dance in there in Dunham's. A couple of new things, but the price is still just as high on everything in there. Um, I swear, if they would lower their prices a little bit, they'd probably do some good ammo sales in there, but I guess they ain't ever going to do it, it looks like. Let's run in here to the Walmart and then the local shop. I know my local shop's got a couple things I want to pick up that I passed on last week. Hopefully, they still got them. Uh, but if there's anything even new in either one of them, I'll let y'all see. If not, I'll see you back at the house as usual. All right, y'all, back at the house again. Got some pretty decent stuff this week to go over, but before we get started, if y'all would, if y'all do enjoy my videos, please take a second, reach down, and hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload these new videos. Let's start with the Rural King. Rural King had a lot of good new stuff in there this week. Some of it had some really good deals, some of it not so great, some of it about average, but a lot of new stuff, different stuff I hadn't seen in there. Bunches of different, uh, like match grade type 223, lots of um, uh, 30 alt 6 that 450 Bushmaster uh, that brass case Igman 762 just a lot of unusual stuff that I hadn't seen in there before but with all that being said I didn't get any of that new stuff really I just didn't need it but what I did pick up was y'all saw they had the SIG uh, full metal jacket again 50 round 9 millimeters for $14.99 so I grabbed two boxes of that there were four boxes sitting there left I grabbed two of them and like I say before I could even get my camera out to record somebody grabbed the other two so I wanted to make sure I grabbed these before they were gone for sure because at $14.99 that stuff flies off the shelf so I got two boxes of that then y'all saw then y'all saw they had them 300 blackout in there again the arms core 147 grain for $16.99 a box so I uh, got I've got a pretty good bit of 300 blackout but at $16.99 a box 147 grain that's a really middle of the road uh, weight on 300 blackout so I had to pick up a few more boxes so got four more boxes of that like I say $16.99 for a box of the 300 blackout now as far as my online stuff this week i got a couple different things online uh, i got a box of 44 magnum this stuff was incredibly expensive it's expensive everywhere you find it right now just some s b 44 mag soft point um 240 grain as you see just regular soft point stuff this stuff was 56 bucks for a box of 50 and yeah that's high but like i say pretty much everywhere you find 44 magnum right now it's running around that price so it's a definitely in an expensive caliber to run right now without a doubt main reason i picked this up is i've got some 44 magnum but not a whole lot at all to be honest with you and i've got something chambered in 44 magnum something else chambered in 44 magnum coming very soon so i wanted just a box of something that wasn't the, the really nice nice hollow point stuff I got so I got one box of that and then I got some stuff that people have been requesting me to test out several people have asked me to get some of this and test it out and I didn't mind at all because like y'all know I'm a huge fan of SIG V crowns and what this is is the M17 124 grain plus P V crown so should be some really good stuff here for sure the good old V crown that we all know and love in the plus P version of the M17 so really looking forward to testing these out I'll probably just put them up again against the regular 124 v crowns and see how they do so i got five boxes of these 
these were a decent deal until you add the shipping on these were $16.99 a box by the time you add the shipping they write up around 20 21 bucks so that's that's the main reason i don't order many things online and a lot of people say well what about the gas and the time you spend and running around well like i've told a lot of people who have who have mentioned that and uh, i'll tell everybody again all those places the rural king the dunham's the wally world and my local shop that whole entire round trip only takes me 10 minutes all of those are within 10 minutes of my house so it's very little gas at all and in very little time the most of my time is just spent in there filming the stuff so don't take me any extra to get this stuff locally so anytime even if it costs me a little bit more locally um, i'm still saving in the long run from ordering online because of the shipping cost so anyway i got five boxes of the m17 124 grain plus pv crowns and then the majority of the stuff this week came from my local shop uh and some most of it was what they had from last week but i picked up some more of it uh y'all saw last week they had this 45 colt 225 grain ftx lever evolution in there uh the more i got thinking about it at 26.99 a box for this that's right now is a pretty good price on 45 colt uh so i had to go in there and pick up two more boxes of this and i'm glad i did because there was only three left and i got two of them and left one of them so good good 45 cold ammo to do some testing with for sure at a decent price right now so went in and got two more boxes of that and then y'all saw last week they had this uh 460 smith and wesson magnum handgun hunter the 200 grain monoflex rounds i didn't pick any up in there last week and i should have last week to be honest with you but i went back in there and they still have most of this left in there and it's very expensive this 460 ammo is very very expensive but this is really nice stuff here it's the monoflex it's actually solid copper experience expanders so this should be a really good round to test with uh it's got the uh like the polymer insert or like the the jelly field insert whatever you want to call it that's supposed to help it expand really nice so really good rounds here these were 44.99 per box very expensive two dollars and fifty cent around but that's the price of this 460 every single where you look is is two fifty three dollars three fifty around so really good a solid copper expander so i got two boxes of that now what i'm going to show you next is definitely a spoiler to a new tool i also picked up today but i ain't going to show you the tool but I'm going to show you the ammo for it. So what I got is some Remington HTP at $21.99 a box, jacked at hollow point Remington HTP and the caliber is 30 super carry. Yes, yes, I know. I, I've already said I think 30 super carry is totally pointless and I absolutely stand by that. I think there's absolutely no need for 30 super carry as a caliber. But that being said, I picked this up just simply because, 100% because of this YouTube channel that I have. Uh, I figure people are probably going to be interested in seeing the performance of this stuff. So I went ahead and got some of it and I got a new tool in 30 Super Carry that I'll be showing y'all. I'm probably go out this weekend and do the initial testing on it. So y'all should see it this coming week. But 30 Super Carry, 100, 100 grain jacketed hollow points. These things are calling for 1,230 feet per second at the muzzle. So should be some decent range should be some good performance out of them but there's they're some little guys little skinny guys compared to nines and 380s so we'll see how they do like i said i i know i've said i think it's pointless and like i say i definitely stand by that but for the channel and for testing purposes i thought i should probably get one because it's the new kid on the block and it'll be interesting to test that against nine and 380 so uh, along those same lines i've got some nine millimeter htp already but i didn't have any 380 and when i start doing these tests i want it to be as close as possible so we can really see a good comparison so they had this 380 uh uh, htp in there 88 grain jacked at hollow point so not the same weight but for 380 it's about the about the average weight so 88 grain htp 380 picked up a box of this this stuff is priced ridiculously the 30 super carry is 21.99 a box i think the nine millimeter is around 19 this stuff was right at almost 30 bucks a box like 28 something a box for this 380 ammo 380 ammo is absolutely crazy priced right now it's just out of sight what you have to pay for 380 ammo but there y'all have it that's the scores for the week not a whole bunch of stuff this week but some pretty high dollar stuff so i had to kind of cut back on the quantity this week especially with that 460 to 45 colt the 44 magnum all that stuff is crazy high dollar now the rest of this stuff super good deal on the nine 300 blackout a really good deal the, the m17 was good except for the shipping that you had to tack on top and even then it's probably about average the 380 was out of sight and this 30 super carry i was really surprised that it was 21.99 
$9.99. I'm not saying that's a good price by any means, but I figured it would have been a little more expensive than that. But this video's rolled on long enough. Let me know what you think about the pickups this week. Let me know what's going on in y'all's area. What are you looking forward to as far as testing? Are you looking forward to this 30 Super Carry to see how it does against the 9 and the 380? Let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments down below. Check out my Amazon storefront affiliate link in the description. If you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link up first like I always tell you. Shop through Amazon from normal like there. No extra cost at all. And anything you buy anywhere on Amazon, I get a kickback towards the channel. So I really do appreciate that. I got a bunch more stuff in the works, y'all. I got a ton of new jelly videos already filmed. I got several more I'm getting ready to do. Got new tools that I filmed and some more that I still have to do. Got a couple of new fun things to test out on the range. And I've got a few companies that are actually sending me some stuff right now that should be really interesting stuff to check out on the channel. Appreciate all my range gang members like I always tell you for reaching out and hitting that join button. Thank y'all very much for that. Thank you to every single one of y'all who watches my channel, my videos. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell notification icon. And like I say, make sure you leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this and let me know what you're looking forward to. Tons of good stuff on the way, so stay tuned for it. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see y'all soon.